What's happening, everybody? Amp Capo here, Black Adonis Games. We are inside of my project. This is a another version of my project that I've built using Bullet Hell Pro. I have about three or four versions of my project that I'm currently working on, and I'm going to merge the best features of all of them. Anyway, I'd like to thank everyone that's been liking and subscribing to the channel. Over 2,000 subscribers, man. I am ecstatic. But anyway, let's go ahead and go in, man. Uh, what I wanted to show you here is that I have the mutable project pretty much merged. I have figured out the color schemes and just pretty much I know the depths of mutable now to where I can actually do the deep dive with a little bit more confidence. Let's go ahead and we are going to go in and you can see I have blacked out versions of all of the clothing here. The one thing I can't do is make white, which I will have to do with another setup because I changed the setup. I had white at one time but it made the clothing not look as good anyway let's go ahead and go in and we'll see how we could change the colors here by just moving these slides over and you'll see that the clothing turns red and we can go through and just get some really in-depth colors here which i really love i'm going to change our uh, hair real quick and with the hair we only have red for all of the colors as of now and that is due to the fact that i have not really figured out how to incorporate the hair color dynamically i know how to change it and make it one color for everything but dynamically it's not working at this point in time we're going to go ahead and remove this shirt as well as it's underneath what we are trying to work with in this jacket which this is the jacket i'm going to switch to you can see the gloves are set up here and the gloves are not black but we could go in and we can make the gloves black and i'm going to show you that really quick so we could go in and we could take this and move it down and the gloves would be black as well. Um, I want to show you the uh, boots and the jackets and everything else. This is the boots and they're silver right now. Um, we could also do the same thing with the boots. We could bring them down and make them black. So now you will see that everything is black. Um, we could take and change these color schemes up. Let's go for something different here. Let's go ahead and just peek them out at red. All right, so there's red on this end, red on that end. Red is red. So we're gonna peek everything out at red just so you could check it out here. So we're gonna go to sci-fi pants and we are gonna do the same thing. We're gonna peek everything out at red. We're gonna go to the top and peek everything out at red. So you can see how nice and neat the color actually blends in. It looks really amazing. You can go between colors as I'll show you here with the jacket and it just looks really amazing and smooth. Um, this works in a game build scenario as well. So we can go ahead and confirm these. And then when I go into my test level here, you're gonna see that we have all of the red gear in effect. So this works. I also have my in-game menu, so you can see some other things that happen here. Now, eventually I want these to automatically highlight for what I am already wearing. As you can see here, they are not highlighted. I have to click on them to set the highlight to start. Um, if I remove the gloves. Now, the nice thing you'll notice is that if I change to another piece of apparel, it keeps whatever the last color scheme I had in the menu was. So. If I switch the pants, um, and these are going to reflect in game. So you can see here that these are in game. Let's go ahead and I'm going to pause again and I'm gonna switch back to my sci-fi pants and you're gonna see that they're still red. So they maintain. Now I do not have the colors set up to work here in this menu at this time, but that is something that we will work on for a future build. Um, anyway, I just wanted you to see that we do have the mutable working in the project it was a very simple fix i will definitely do a video on this if i have enough people that actually say that they would like to know how to incorporate this in gameplay if you have not figured it out yourself um as it was so simple that many may have figured it out and i feel like i was just overlooking it because i was looking for something so in depth because of how detailed and in depth the mutable system is 
Anyway, that's all I have for this one. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification so you know when I drop new content and share the content. Most importantly, let me know other features of Unreal Engine that you would like me to cover or mutable or any of the plugins that are available for the engine. If I have them or own them, I will cover them. If you are a plugin builder, you can definitely let me know if you would like me to do a special or cover your specific plugin. That's all I got for this one. I'll be back with another one. Amp Capo, Black Adonis Games. Black